Hey there, welcome to Total Body Conditioning. This is gonna be short and sweet. We'll do upper, lower, and middle. Take your feet out nice and wide. Turn your toes to the corners of your mat and snuggle down into this nice, easy squat. Lift and lower. So the first thing we wanna do is get warm, get all of our joints moving. Motion is lotion to our joints. I know every time I get ready to start a workout, I'm like, ah, oh, achy. And as soon as I start moving, it gets better. Four more of these. All right, take it down to your squat. Hold and pull. So let me tell you what's gonna happen here. All you need is a mat. I am gonna use some light dumbbells for a couple of things, but this is all body weight. It's all toning. Lunge left to right. Take a little bend in the knee. Knees point over those toes, not past, just in the direction. Take your right arm over, reach and pull. Notice that you probably now need your mouth for breath. A sign that you're working over and hold, that you've gotten to about that 70% of heart rate, and you need your mouth for breath. Stretch it out. Let that arm across your face, turn to a lunge. So come down to this low lunge, just stretch out your hip flexors, your hips. Three, two, one. Step the back foot forward and lengthen through the crown of your head and fold over that front leg. Abs in tight. Breathe out. Walk your fingertips forward. Lift that back leg off the mat. Hold. Testing our balance. If you'd like, you can bring one hand to your shin. Maybe two hands. That wobbling ankle is an ankle that's getting stronger. It's learning how to balance itself, learning how to balance you. Release your hands, step back to that lunge, turn to the wide side of your mat, side to side, right and left. Let's take that left arm over, reach and pull. more. Motion is lotion. Take it over and hold. Stretch your body, fingertips to ankle. So your body is your best teacher. Your body knows when it needs less, when it needs more. I'm just here to make some suggestions. Cross your face. Shift to a low lunge. Take a moment to just let that leg lengthen. Build a little crease in your left hip. Breathing a little more deeply. Step the back foot in. Lengthen and fold. Breathe clear down into your lower back. And let yourself sigh it out. Fingertips come forward, lift that back leg, find a three-point balance. You can test the waters here, pick up one hand, place it on your shin, maybe both. Good, just testing the water, testing your balance. Hands to the mat, drop that foot. Face the center again, let's turn those toes out. Press up to standing. Take a deep breath in, arms overhead. Stretch it up and over to one side. Come back up, stretch it up and over. Do that one more time both ways. Go a little farther this time. Up and then just cactus your arms open. Find a stretch for your chest. Strengthen your back. 
windmill those arms, come into a plank. So spread your fingers wide, push down into your mat, open up those shoulder blades. How light can you be in your toes? How fiercely can you hug the abs in? Press into the earth, open up those shoulders. And then drop one knee to the ground, open up into a side plank. Then we're gonna lift that leg, bend the knee, hand behind the head, and then we're gonna do these little side bends right here. Find those obliques. P.S. We're still in the warm up. <laughs> Good, reach out again, drop your leg, come to center, find that plank. Press down into the mat, open your shoulder blades. How light can you be? on your toes. Drop the knee, kick the foot off the edge and open side plank, the leg comes up. Bend your knee, fingertips behind the head and then bring your elbow closer to the hip. Feeling your obliques, heating it up. And come back around. Here's your plank pose, friends. Hold, breathe. Alternate knees to chin. Option to go a little faster. Press the earth away. Got to keep those shoulder blades broad. Eight, seven, six, five. Plank pose. Woo. Drop the knees, stretch your back. Okay, I think we're warm. Go ahead and bring yourself up to downward facing dog. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Lift halfway and reach up tall. Stretch. Woo. Let your arms come down to your sides and just start moving your legs side to side. We're gonna start with upper body. I'm gonna keep my feet moving like this just to keep the heart rate up a little bit. These are smaller muscle groups. So I'd like you to start right here. Like you're making 11s with your forearms. Your elbows are straight out from your shoulders. And then the motion, I'm gonna stop my legs for a minute. The motion is palms back, thumbs down, back up to center, out, up, out, up. So you might feel like you're a little bit of a choir director, I don't know. I think they only use one hand, but we're using both. Okay, so step wide, together. Step wide, together, wide, together if you want to keep that lower body moving out so like goal post 11s out 11s out try to push your palms to the back wall so you're getting triceps and shoulders 11s back wall thumbs down thumbs down so tell me when your arms start burning. Straight up, straight back. Feet together, double time. Up, back, 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 back. Burn, baby, burn. Eight, seven, keep your elbows high. Four, three, two, Slow it down, 11s, press, 11s, press. Core strong. Last four, three, two, and one. Grab those light dumbbells. Not necessary, but helpful. 
lateral raises for the shoulders and they should already be pretty tired. Just gonna finish them off here. You can alternate a knee up and down. Whew. Burn, baby, burn. Eight more right here. Seven, six, three, two, alternate bicep, tricep. Here we go, fast, fast, bicep, tricep. These are light weights, so you're gonna use your muscles a little extra, really squeeze, Press, squeeze, press. All right, friends, set your weights down if you're holding them. And we're gonna go back to those arms out. Yes, burn is the name of the game. Kind of going back to those 80s things we used to do. Okay, you're gonna go thumbs up. You're gonna draw a figure eight. So you're gonna come up and around to the front, down and up. So sideways figure eight, thumbs down, thumbs to the back wall, down and around. So this takes a little coordination. <laughs> the left side is harder for me than the right side. You'll start to get into a routine and what we're doing here is we're strengthening rotator cuff muscles, this rotation action, both external and internal. These are really important movements to keep our rotator cuffs strong. Those are smaller muscles, they're intrinsic. They help hold our, our arm bone into our shoulder joint and they're vulnerable. So, it's worth taking a little bit of time to strengthen those important rotators. So you're just making these figure eights. Your shoulders might be shaking by now. I hope they are a little bit. This is a weird exercise, but great for inner strength, great for muscle tone. Two more figure eights. This is something you can do during the day when you're just hanging out, nothing to do. Figure eights for your shoulders. Grab your weights again, shake it out, and we'll do another set of bicep, tricep. Hinge from the hips, so you're standing and you're hinging. Bicep, tricep, really squeeze in tight. So this might feel like a little bit easier workout than some of the others. Lighter weight, body weight. You know, on some days, just movement is what your body needs. It doesn't need to get exhausted. Sometimes you just need to move. Feels to me like one of those days. So plug this one in. And you don't need a heavy workout, you just need to move your body. All right, set those down. Let's shift gears. Let's go to lower body. So I'm gonna come down onto all fours, tabletop position. And this is kind of a reinvention of um, fire hydrants. <laughs> so extend your right leg out and take it across the other leg. So your toes are touching over there to the other side. From there, you're gonna bend your knee, lift up, come back across. That's the action. I like to do these down on my elbows. I feel like that protects my lower back. Um, it feels like I get a little bigger range of motion, but you can choose. So press up, pull across. Push up, pull across. So when you're pushing up, it's like you're putting a footprint on the ceiling and you're stretching that leg across. Press and cross, press and cross. Really get into those glutes. Abs stay strong. 
Going for a little glute burn right here, friends. It always makes me sweat too. Glutes, a large muscle. <laughs> it's on me. Abs in tight. Come on, come on. And the next, next time, just stretch that leg, press into the heel, let the hip stretch for a moment, and come back to center. Flex the left knee, extend it across. Kind of get your, your spacing. Ready? Here we go. Up and across. Whether you're on your hands or your elbows, press the floor away from you and try to stay stable in those shoulders. Straight up and across. Abs are tight. Floor is engaged. Ooh. Body weight burn. I love just finding different angles and slightly different ways to work the muscles always do what you always did you always get what you always got no so change is good right low belly in press down through your hands or forearms do two more and stretch it Come back to center, press up, and sweep your legs around. You're gonna be lying on your side for this one. Okay, so option one, right here on your elbow. Option two, lay down and support your head. I like this one better. This is gonna be tricky though. So we're gonna lift the top leg, it's bent. Now we're gonna extend it while we extend the other leg, bend and lower. So lift, extend, bend, and lower. Lift, extend, bend, and lower. And depending on your hips and the way your hip bones feel on the ground, you might find yourself leaning forward or leaning back. Try coming down to see if that gives you a little different angle, a little better padding. Try them both ways. Lift, reach, bend, lower. Lift, reach. You guys know I stay awake at night thinking of different ways to move the body. Possibilities are limitless. Two more. And take that top leg, hug it in, stretch the bottom leg out. Switch sides and just roll over or flip around. Experiment, elbow down, lift, extend, bend and lower. If I changed my mind, I kind of like being down here, up, out, bend and lower. You probably feel that you need some core to stabilize you here with this one, yeah? Navel to spine. Find the best place to hold yourself stable. The rest of this workout focuses on core, so we might as well start now being aware of what's happening there. Hip. Woo. La, la, la. If you ever have a hard time falling asleep, instead of ruminating with all the thoughts in your mind or counting sheep, make up some exercises. <laughs> Try it. Two more. And hug the top leg in, stretch the bottom leg out. 
get yourself a drink of water and roll onto your back. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to describe this one to you. All right, so your body's straight on the mat. I'm gonna have you bring your legs to the right. So your body's making kind of a banana shape or a diagonal shape. You're gonna cross, so if my legs are going to the right, you're gonna cross your left foot over. And you're gonna do some crunches right there. So, in addition to rectus abdominis, we're pulling in obliques with our body in this kind of curved position, diagonal position. If you feel any pinch or pain in your lower back, do less of a curve, less of a diagonal, more of a, more of a crunch. To make it a little harder, cross the opposite elbow toward the bent knee. Eight more. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one, stretch out long in the center. So again, if that felt painful at all to you, that just cross the leg this time. But if you wanna sneak the feet over to the left side and then cross. So as you lift, you're feeling a little bit more in that oblique. Elbows are wide, chin is lifted. Find your breath. That deep breath. Notice when you're holding your breath, a lot of us breathe into this top one third of our lungs. Cross over. We wanna get in the habit of using our full lung capacity. Opposite elbow to knee. Come to center, stretch it out. Bend your knees. Take a hold of the light dumbbells if you like and lift and lower in bridge pose. Start to strengthen not only the glutes, the hamstrings, but also the low back. A little break between ab exercises. All right, come up to bridge and hold. You can set your weights down. Hold your hips up, walk your toes out so that you feel your toes touching the outside of your mat. Lift a little higher, feel your glutes. Three, two, one, and lower. All right, hands come to the back of the head. We're gonna lift into a crunch. Pick up one foot and then the other. So holding here, knees over hips. You're gonna cross your right leg over like you're sitting in a chair, tap down, lift, and switch. Lift, cross, tap, and down. So alternating the foot that's on top. And you're just holding your head up here. Listen to your body, cross and lower, cross and lower, cross and lower. Hold it in tight, cross and lower, and hold those knees in tight. Massage your low back. All right, feet on the floor. Take one dumbbell if you have one right here over the chest. Little crunches here. Eight, seven, six. Chin is forward, but not really scrunched. To make this harder, press the dumbbell to your thighs. It'll help you lift your shoulder blades just another inch or so off the floor.
and press straight to the ceiling, straight up, straight up. You can grab two dumbbells if you want, straight up. If your neck gets tired, lift your chin just a little bit. Hold on for me. Last eight, seven, six, and two, and one. Let your head rest. Roll it side to side. Bring yourself to a seat. All right, one more thing. We're in mermaid. Uh, left knee in front, right foot behind, dumbbell in your left hand, and you're gonna reach that overhead. The elbow's gonna be soft, fingertips on the floor, side bends here, over and pull. Move a little bit slower than the music, over and pull. Last thing for today, just hanging out in that core. A little bit of movement for all the body parts. And then set this dumbbell down. Bring your hand to the floor. Opposite arm comes up and over. Lower down to your elbow and stretch. You can even extend that leg coming into this long side body stretch. And bring that arm around, switch sides. Right knee is in front, left foot is behind. Right arm is straight up. And you're just gonna come over and down. Over and down. You're listening to your body. So if this hurts your shoulder at all, drop the weight. If this hurts your lower back, make the movement smaller or drop the weight, or both. You might find it easier to sit in this way on one side. Um, you're also welcome to bring your hips up onto a little cushion. That might help. Two more. And set the weight down. Come to the elbow. Reach over. And you can extend that leg. Whew. Take deep breaths. Arm crosses the face. Press yourself around to a tabletop. Take a couple of rounds of cat and cow. Widen up your knees, sit your hips back. Come into elbows or hands extended, arms extended child's pose. Take the deepest breaths you can possibly take. Walk your hands back in towards you. Lift up onto your knees. Take your arms behind. Open your chest. Breathe here. So great job showing up for yourself today, doing a little bit of movement, listening to the wisdom of your body. Step forward with one foot. Stretch that hip flexor one more time. And ease yourself back into a hamstring stretch. Hands come inside the foot, sweep it around and switch. Opposite foot forward, drop into your hip flexor. And back to your hamstring. So always remember, no matter whose workouts you're doing, you are your best teacher. Your body has so much wisdom. Your body knows when to push forward and your body knows when to hold back. Sometimes we override that with our mind, that old no pain, no gain thing. Bring yourself to stand. 
So always listen to yourself. Always be good to yourself. Thanks for taking some time to move your body today. I'll see you next time.